it's going to help people in resource limited regions. It's going to help people who want to do testing on site. So if you think about the way testing is done nowadays, so anyone who has a well on their property goes, takes a sample of well water, sends it off to a lab, waits three weeks, finds out that their well's contaminated. They've been drinking that for three weeks. What we're basically proposing is you take your well water and you at home with a pill, add it to the sample, figure out within five, 10 minutes that either your well water is safe to drink or it's contaminated. Simple as that. So the only thing that you need to do is to uh, put a variety of pills in a test tube, fill the water that you want to analyze to a certain level and just shake it and look at the color. So that's something that can be done pretty much by anybody. And uh, our intent is that it can be utilized by people in remote locations, either in Canada or somewhere in the United States, as well as in remote places in India and Africa where laboratories are definitely not available to everybody. If what we've discovered doesn't translate into having some kind of positive impacts for society, what have we really done? And I think this is one of those technologies that with some additional work that we still have to do has the potential to really have impacts. And I think that's, if anything, one of the reasons to be proud.